Rock and come in. Shake up your body like a tambourine. Girl, I got the feeling. All that special feeling. The wonderful feeling. From your inner me sight, me, I forget the time. Oh, I got a feeling. Oh, that special feeling. When we healing. In the sight, me, I forget the tight. Girl, rock and come in. Shake up your body like a tambourine. Check out our one day, you know, do go, do go, do go, do go part two, 862,000 views, only one month on YouTube, big tune, big dotty tune, <laughs> big song, yeah man, I girls them time again, you know, yeah man, girls them time again, yeah, so here we go, you know, today was a very interesting day, Zane, so I, you know, me have to come forward, come, come, Break it down, Zane. So, anytime you see me come forward, me I broke it down, me I break it down. You understand? Me I dissect the thing then. So when you see me come forward, you know say so it's just broke it down time, break it down time, Zane. So we're gonna break down, um, or try and break down what happened today, today in the um, um, vibes cartel. They call it now Privy Council hearing. Yeah? Yeah, man. We want to talk about what transpired today um, at the Privy Council's hearing. Yeah, very, very interesting day. Very big up a cell calcium. Very, very interesting day. Today was a very interesting day. You see? Very, very interesting day. So, um, we are going to break that down. See, you know, see if we can get. Um, our personal perspective in this is strictly um, non bias this is strictly objective um, but truthful is that what I say so this is something there yeah no unix a free world boss Zine, whether that are the, 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 what is being echoed across the world free world boss that is being echoed across the world Zine? And um, I think 
the people who are echoing that, they should feel good about what happened today. See? Yeah. What they heard today, I think, I think they f they're feeling good. That they should feel good. They're, sh they're feeling good. See, and I think the, 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 the supporters of freedom for the world boss, I think they're feeling pretty good today. Zin, I think they're feeling pretty good today. Um, you have people who, thinks that, um, who think that, yeah, he should stay in prison. So, but we're not there to argue with either side. Come in a really, yeah, one way or the other. Based on music, it will, it will be good for, you know, him to continue a musical journey. Um, yeah. But in terms of the legal part of it and the, the criminal part of it, I just try to stay objective on the matter. Because trust me, <clears throat> the Gaza fans them can be really, really, you know, yeah, aggressive when they're ready. They will come at you with venom, you know. You have to be careful what you say when you talk about the, the world boss, because the Gaza fans them loyal. Worse, them, them see there is a lot of hope now. Them hope high now, so you have to be very careful when you talk about the world boss right now. Zane, because trust me. And it's good that them can feel so, you know. Yeah. No. Based on what we, 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 we learned today, we learned that, um, well, some people already knew this, um, but for who, di who, for who did not know about the, um, the, 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 the juror um, being compromised, yeah, one of the juror in the case was compromised. Now, the argument that the defense is making, the defense is making the argument that that juror should have been dismissed. So because that juror was not dismissed or discharged, they're making the case that he compromised the other jurors. Yeah. Now, what, what was it? Uh, this juror actually was convicted and, and sentenced. Um, he accepted bribes, I think. I think he accepted bribes um, um, to, to, in favor, to go in favor of the, um, the defense. Yeah, so so that is what 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 basically is the argument, the, the matter that was di um, discussed today, yeah, uh, deliberated on today. The juror who tried to um who tried to compromise the case by um, taking bribes, or somebody bribed him to whatever, see. And so he was trying to convince the other jurors to um to render a no guilty verdict, yeah. That is the, 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 the that is not making up or anything like that. Yeah, so don't get um, at me. That is what happened. Zin, big up yourself, Imotep. Yeah, man. So we make a jump in for the reason of general. Zin. Now, what the argument is and what seems like a good argument is that the judge should have discharged the juror. However, if the judge had discharged the juror, there would have had to be a, a mistrial um, and possibly a retrial. Yeah? But there are grounds for that still. You see? In doing some research after what transpired today, um, there is also, based on UK law, um, our principles, let's just say principles, the judge could have discharged the juror and continued the case with him being the judge in the case to, to render the, the verdict. Yeah? He could have judged the case without the jurors. So he could have kept the case going, yeah, based on what I've researched. He could have kept the case going and he decide um, the verdict. You see? That was an option that was on the table. Um, so he could have discharged the juror the case would have gone into a mistrial, which once you discharge the jury, that is the, the, the situation, especially at the end of the presentation, you know, they already presented the evidence, they already presented, um, you know, you know, whatever the prosecutor and the defense and closing argument, I think they had presented closing arguments and all of that stuff already. So they would have to um, dismiss the case, yeah? And the prosecutor would have then filed for a retrial. Yeah, <clears throat> or the judge would have ordered a retrial. See? So that was on the table. Another thing that was on the table, um, 
you know, speaking to a, um, a few scholars on the matter, was the defense, the defense could have pushed the issue or argued for a mistrial. You see? So I, I, I'm not sure if the, um, if the, because we have, we have not seen that outside of Isaac Buchanan arguing this point. The, 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 the defense, yeah, who are the people, the, the, the lawyers who represented Vibes Cartel, they could have pushed the, 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 um, the, the, the envelope or they could have asked for, yeah, a mistrial. They could have pointed out that this jury would compromise the other jurors. This juror, excuse me, you know, would have compromised or, or could compromise the other jurors. So they could not move forward, you see? But I'm not seeing anywhere where they did that, that I'm not hearing that argument. See? I'm not hearing that argument. So my concern is why didn't they ask for, you know, the jury, the juror, excuse me, to be discharged? Because once the juror um, was discharged, there would have been a mistrial. You see? And you know, in a mistrial, a lot of things taken into consideration now in a, in a, in a mistrial. One, the prosecutor may not want to go back through all of that again. You see? So somebody dropped the ball on Vibes Cartel thing, you know. You see? And somebody, in my view, was clever enough to try to compromise the juror. Somebody did their research on this. You see? So the research was done. Yeah? And we have to be very careful of this precedent. You see? Going forward. But the research was done, and it is now publicized, that this is a way how to bring a case into a mistrial. Into mistrial. See? But I'm curious as to why this was not echoed. You know, because remember, this is what Isaac Buchanan, you know, has been saying all this time that the juror was tampered with so they should have had a mistrial. But whosoever represented Vibes Cartel in the case, I'm wondering how did they drop the ball on this? Because, you know, once it's a re retrial or a mistrial, to go to a retrial, you know, the prosecutors, them all, some a prosecutor just didn't bother retry the, 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 the accused. You see? Or they put a plea deal on the table. So they say, you know what? Plea to a lesser charge of manslaughter or reckless homicide and we give you five years. Or ten years, five already served, you're going to do five more. You see? And it would have been left up to the accused to accept you know, and the lawyer has leverage now too. The lawyer has leverage now because the lawyer smells blood in the water now. It's a mistrial. You see? And, you know, if you watch this case, these court cases, you realize it's always a lose in situation, right? When there is a mistrial. And prosecutors don't want a mistrial. Prosecutors, they do not want any mistrial. So lawyers normally push for mistrial. So you have to ask yourself the question. If Vibes Cartel lawyers or representatives, if they were incompetent, based on what we learned today, based on what we learned today, you know, because a lot of people get up and say, oh, they, 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 they were after cartel and they wanted a prison cartel and, you know, the justice system fighting cartel and da 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 We know, we were looking at this, not appealing to emotion, you see? We who are looking at the information that is being presented, we have to ask a question now as to why Vice Cartel, you know, lawyers did not push the envelope, yeah? Or stood firm in getting a mistrial because the juror was compromised. It's not even a little compromise, you know? It's a major compromise. It's not like a little joke compromise, you know. It's not like a little joke tampering, you know. It's major tampering. It was, according to the report today, the judge, everybody was like, <laughs> you know, it was unbelievable. It's like a, it's like, it's an uppercut to the justice system when they found out that this juror was compromised. You see? It was like a, a Devastating blow. The judge didn't know what to do. The judge actually sent the foreman to go and tell 
the other, the other members of the, the, the jury. The judge couldn't even find himself to go out face them and tell them. He, just, he, he went there and he said, remember, you have to follow the, 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 the protocols. You remember, yeah, you took an oath. The judge was like, what am I going to do? Because the uppercut, the judge get you know. The justice system got an uppercut. It was so bad that um, they had police on standby ready to arrest the juror. Police was on standby ready to arrest the juror. So you have to ask yourself the question, who were these defense attorneys? Then me have forgot me have forgot me have forgot to study law. You see? This is like defense 101. It is that me have me have study law. Because there is no way me not ask you a, a, a mistrial. By just watching court cases. By just watching court cases and just learning about the, the, the justice system and how it operates. There is no way I'm not asking for a, 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 a mistrial. Like not just asking, me have, me have sweep, me have use that jewelry there and sweep the floor. Can me point out that we cannot measure or know or be sure that this juror is not going to compromise the other jurors. And in truth, if I am on a juror, right? If I'm doing jury, jury, jury duties, and they, it is um, revealed that one juror took bribe, right? In favor of the defense. Now I'm going to be saying to myself, why whosoever from the, the defense, you know, are they accused? Why are they trying to bribe the juror? So instantly right there, so you know, me I got things say, yo, a guilty, I'm guilty, you know. Because I try to pay off a jury, you know. At that time, for, so me already compromised my, me now, going into the deliberation, yeah, with a, a mind that is already compromised by what I learned. So that even give the defense more grounds now to argue that. Because this is no question. If they might have that in the back of their mind, they say, yo, John Mostar, how they might try to buy out the case? You see? Where Jamaican people will say, oh, if they never guilty, how they might try to buy it out? <laughs> you see what I say? Yeah. The Jamaican say, oh, I'm guilty, I'm guilty, man. Make it, oh, you're guilty, that's why you try to pay the man. And you see what I say? So, oh, I had to, they, they, they would have, this wouldn't be in the appeal when, when, when Isat brought it up. This would have been the argument that I'm going on television. If, if the judge denied the appeal, I'm going on television. Right? The mistrial, excuse me. If the, if the judge denied the mistrial, I'm going on television. I'm going on radio. I'm going because I already know that Vibes Cartel has a fan base who are loud. Are, are, are who is loud. You know, the people are loud. See? So, I wouldn't take this, like, or oh, keep the juror on and let it uh, uh, roll the dice. Listen to me. What was the defense hoping to, 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 to achieve with proceeding with that tamper juror? The prosecution, they felt that their argument was strong enough to continue. And of course, the prosecutor, Paula and Louis Linda, want to retry that case there. The DPP now want to retry this case. This, this case, this is a, this, listen, she don't want, listen. The prosecution, they believed so much in their um, evidence, in the evidence and their presentation, that they took the chance. 
knowing that they already have one person we are going to vote in favor of the defense. Imagine you have 11 people, but you already know so you have one, and the prosecution still proceed. A lot, lot of people have missed that, you know. Paul and Louis Lynch said, roll the dice. Me a gamble. You see? So maybe she was of the mindset of a person who think like me. That, oh, them jury, them have said, he might try to buy out the case, guilty. <laughs> Paul and Louis Lynch said, yeah, man. Keep on the jury. Them jury are going to deliberate and they're going to say, why am I trying to buy out the case? And here the wicked is part of it, both it out. Here we know that the defense are represented by Scartel in the initial case. Here we know that they have no sense. They make you say that. With respect. With due respect. The judge actually left the juror in the deliberation room and the deliberating room. He was there with the people I'm deliberating. Like nothing ever happened. Because the judge knew one from him not in the room with them automatically or technically he's discharged. So the justice knew this, you know. And rolled the dice. You see? The fact that they allowed him to stay, you know, with the other jurors during the deliberation, he rolled the dice. Because he couldn't exclude him. That would have been basically him expelling the, 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 uh, the, the juror. You <laughs> see? Yeah. So where are we at? We had millions spent, you know, in my view, from the, accu from the accused. And is the, uh, the, the other accused. Millions spent. Years in prison. The artist get all sick and everything there. Eh? Illness, all kind of things. Locked down in a, you know, all manner of things. Because in my opinion, the jury, the, 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 the defense let down the accused. I am not saying whether they're guilty, yes or no, you know. I know that I argue, you know, I argue the, 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 what was available to the defense. I mean, I, I discuss whether the man guilty or, or who, you know, and that me a discuss. You see? They, a court hearing is happening, so they will decide that. That's not what I have to decide. You see? Me show how the situation could have been different for all the accused. Now, will this hold up? Because, of course, we heard the prosecution, we heard the defense, and we heard the prosecution in the Privy Council. Um, um, you know, with the Privy, Privy Council over, overseeing the matter. That's basically what they do, you know. It's not like a retrial, you know. They just, they just oversee the matter. You know, the, we, we, is now, it has always been the accused against the queen. But because the queen dead, it's now the accused against the king. It's not even the accused against the man where them said dead, you know. It's basically the accused against the British state. So, these are the, the people them now, the, 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 the top of the, the justice system. You see? So, the people who are at, at the top of our justice system, they are the ones now who are listening to what transpired or are no, they're going to, you know, they're going to, um, where the call is now? Scold, <laughs> you know, they were going to scold Paul and Louis in them now, you know, who basically work for, you know, the British state. Yeah? So, it's, it's, it's basically, they might check now if they, um, If the people who are in charge of protecting the, um, the British state constitution did their job. I don't know. That is all this is, you know. This is just to oversee or to, or to decide 
The people them will control the people on top of the justice system, right? They are now basically just checking, overseeing, yeah, what transpired. So them now going to make a decision on did our slaves, excuse me, did our, did their jobs appropriately? You see what I say? Did they violate one of the, one of the, one of the plantation people them? If, if, so that is basically what I go on now. You know? Yeah. So they will decide in the near future if if the plantation if the plantation plantation negro got a fair trial. You know? By the handlers. The people that were put in charge away. It's technically that I go on still. In in, in, in layman terms. You understand what I say? So will it hold? Will it hold? Um, we have to wait and see, but the, the best that can come out of it is a mistrial. And so it's not like I hear people saying the boss are going to walk free and all of them things here. No, 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 no. No, that's not going to happen. The best thing that can come out of it is a mistrial. And it will be up to, I guess, I don't know if it's them decide. Or if it's the prosecution has to file for it, or the whatever the situation is, but the best thing that can come out of this is a mistrial. You see? Because it is argued that he did not receive a fair trial. You see? So the only thing they can say now say, yeah, let's have a mistrial and do the thing properly. You see? No, and a mistrial. This can happen. It can be a non-jury mistrial, retrial, excuse me. Like obviously said Justice Sykes the other day um, in the non-jury trial with the Klansman them. A Klansman that one had, which one of them? The, the one with the, the last trial of one. You see? You see that was that a non-jury trial. You see? So that can be the case now where cartels fit, thanks Imhotep, Klansman. Cartel's fate will now be strictly in the hands of either a panel of judges or one judge. Cartel and his accused and the accused, they are the, they are the accusers, they are the accused, excuse me. Their fate will totally now be in the hands of one person, one judge, or maybe a panel of judges. I don't know if they have a, a panel, a, a panel situation in Jamaica as yet. I know they have it in the British state because we saw a panel of judges today, right? So, you know, that will have to be, that could be one factor. We are a judge now, I go hear the argument. You see? A judge now, I go, I go, I go, I go you know, be in charge of the retrial. Because why this is possible? And highly likely. Because every juror you select from here on will be compromised. Every person will serve on a juror from here out will be compromised. If the argument stands that yes, the juror compromised the other jurors, then every juror from here on will be compromised. Or the argument can be made that they will be compromised. Y'all follow me? Because everybody hear about it. You see? So if people make going go 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 on the you know jury duty. With a preconceived mind. So how somebody said me wrong, well well, you know, maybe can't write in the comment and, and correct me. Um But logically speaking, the argument that is presented is one juror compromised the other jurors and because he accepted um um um, um some form of bribe. So anybody everybody who hear about this bribe and go serve on this duty, juror. This, this jury, they're going to be compromised. We are talking about them know about it. And that is the thing, you know, the, 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 the jurors, them that, that, that served on this jury duty, they heard about it. They knew about it. That is the reason why the, the defense is arguing that they were compromised. So if you are going to tell me now, say, oh, who you are going to get now when you are going to compromise? Everybody compromised. So, I think it's highly likely that this is going to be 
a a child that is that is that is you know um presided over by a judge you see non jury trial yeah it is going to be a non jury trial in the my in the in the my you know logical reasoning you see however me go look at the the, the, the um when them solicitor, solicitors you put forward, right? Them, 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 them scholars yeah, them, them lawyers yeah. These solicitors, solicitors from, from the UK, yeah? They put forward this. Discharge of the jury. Right? Listen to this. Given the complexity of many criminal trials, it is inevitable that from time to time, something will go wrong. A witness may give inadmissible evidence a juror was shown something they ought not to have seen, or a judge or advocate making an inappropriate comment. When mistakes happen, all parties will wish to consider the impact of any error and decide whether an application should be made to discharge a duty, the jury. Yeah? This is from the UK, you know, so we're under the UK law. See? So, it does say, when mistakes happen, all parties will wish to consider the impact of any error and decide whether an application should be made to discharge the jury. Now, if this is the case, that that's a matter that say the defense them drop the ball in, a, in, in, in the, the, the initial um, trial. You see, if a jury is discharged, that I want of people to understand now. This is how the the judge took into consideration to continue the case. It's not unprecedented. That the judge continued the case because he knew what? Listen, if a juror is discharged, the trial will need to start afresh. So the judge said, Me, I'm not going back through this, you know. No, sir. I mean, I'm not discharge him. <laughs> we already hear presentation, we already hear evidence, we already hear this, we already hear. We're not, dis we are we're not discharged. You see? Because it would have been a, 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 a fresh... It would have, they, they, they would have to start a new case. <laughs> the judge was like, I want to go to the yard. <laughs> the judge said, you want to leave me alone? I want to go to the yard. See? <laughs> the judge said, you want to leave me alone? You want to leave me alone? I look at you, that man, they will go take bribe. Listen. You think so you make me show this today? Me want to be clear yard. <laughs> Let me tell you. You just say you know them Jamaican people are beat me bad. Them Jamaican people come back and kill them and kill me off. Yo, me want to be clear yard. Me tired to live and hide. You see? Remember say you have all witness. We, the people have all people in a witness protection program, you know. Police tired. Judge tired. DPP tired. Everybody tired. All, all, all cartel and good are tired. And you, the defense attorneys, you no pounce on that. No, yeah, no, you no idiot. No, 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 me need to go to law school. Me need that, me need a law degree. Yeah, man. Me need a law degree. Listen, me, me think L.A. Lewis would have a better job than the defense than we represent Carl in that first case. In my view. Me think L.A. Lewis, seven. Seven would have been a. Because <laughs> seven is a man going to court to represent himself and come out, you know. <laughs> Seven is a man say yo, me I represent myself, I'm gonna represent himself and when you look you see my road. Me say, wait, seven now you do not yeah. Man say yo, I want to Me know my thing Vegas man, me know my thing man. Yeah man. Yeah, this is seven on road. After me I say seven, then go with you now. Seven says seven. Me I represent myself. Yeah man. Member say you know. A lot of things are go against the defense, you know. Them not have nobody. You see? So there's some a, 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 a case where a based upon circumstantial situation, you know. You see? A circumstantial evidence, you know. So yo, this this should have remember so we not argue if the man them guilty or not, you know. We attack. You know, you know, based on principles. The the, the prosecution with a fool. In my view, and, and I've watched a lot of, I watch, I watch the biggest drug case them, you see? Me just watch, me just watch a thing with Griselda. 
Griselda, the, 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 the woman from Colombia. Zin? The, 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 the woman is terrible. According to her, them, the woman they killed countless people. When they put her, forget the death, the death sentence, you know. They found a little. You know what they found? They found that somebody who was testifying against her, being crown witness. Right? They found that they found that he tried he was having phone sex with one with somebody that worked into the worked in um the FBI office. And they threw out the case. She got 12 years to kill a bag of people, according to the, the, the information. See? So, back to the reason. It has a year, right? If a juror is discharged, the trial will need to start afresh, right? This can be a tactical dilemma. When you know that? When you hear that word? Eh? When you know that? You Somebody said, I'm not, not here in the zone. This can be a tactical dilemma. Right? So, that, remember, remember me tell us, eh, somebody did their homework and know so they can tamper with the jury and throw this into a mistrial. Yeah? Uh, somebody tried to, you know, somebody, so, somebody realized that something can come of it. Yeah? So, a tactical dilemma means that somebody deliberately, what? Try to compromise the jury. See? The trial may otherwise have been going well for one party, should they therefore ride the error as what the prosecution did. You hear that? This can be a tactical dilemma. The trial may otherwise have been going very well for one party, should they therefore ride the error and hope for the best. Similarly, if the trial has not been going well, any chance to discharge the juror might be particularly appealing. So, am I to believe that Vibes Cartel's attorney thought the case was going well? Why they didn't push for the juror to be discharged? Because obviously they thought the case was going well. So we... In my view, <laughs> me never think that go well. <laughs> me never think that go well, people. Me not like to do. You have to go kill me for the truth. Me never, me never think it go well, people. Me, me never think it go well. Not when them have a crown witness. Anytime you have a crown witness, it cannot be going well. Me not take no chance. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Me not have no crown witness by my hand and think that case is going well. So it's saying here, right? Based on this piece from the solicitors in the UK, it is saying here, this can be a tactical dilemma. The trial may otherwise have been going very well for one party. Therefore, should they therefore write the error and hope for the best? Similarly, if the trial has not been going well, any chance, any chance to discharge a juror might be particularly appealing. See? Listen this now. In most cases, the desire will be for a trial to continue and judges are particularly reluctant to accede to applications to discharge a jury. One of you just understand what, 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 what this just said a while ago. It means that the judge was within the confinement of the principles to continue the case. And by the way, let me say this. It's a Buchanan. I will pass stripe you get today. Yeah, man, the people them are big up, man. The people must say right now, yeah. Right there, people them like him in general. Mm. People must yeah, present a, a, a great argument today. Yeah. The people them say, right now you eat your food today. Them say, yo, the, the money where you get for your pay, yeah, man, they say you eat your food. Mm. They, say, they, say, they say you deserve the food where you eat today, Mr. Buckyanana. Yeah. Yeah, man. Right now, if you, if you win that case, yeah, all 10 million people have to go give you for, 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 for represent them. Yeah, man. And you know what? Me is a man with critical of Isaac Buckyanana 
at times, you know. Like, when we see him go reiterate the, um, the argument when, when, when put forward, after him say it, he go back and say it again, say, some lyrics are caught till they do. I'm say, yo, you're madman, Bridget. You have a trial that come up and you have put yourself in the line of fire. See? So luckily, them, 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 them appealed um, his suspension and he gets to, to, to present his argument so the world can see him. And, and it's his, it is a thing, I think it is a thing of second chance, or second chances, where we know says a man who get convicted of, of, of something illegal, and now we see him actually standing in at the highest court. Because this is the top of the top. This is higher than the Supreme Court of the land. See? So for us to see Isaac Buchanan presenting his argument today as a man with problems, they just show you, say, yo, anything not dead, not dash away. See? And don't tell nobody, say, them can't. Don't tell nobody, say, them can't pick up themselves half of the ground and start afresh. This is very encouraging. Whatever the outcome is going to be, I take away something today from what Isaac Buchanan, I, I saw him as a very intelligent um, 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 man today. You understand what I say? And, and, and it is something for us to learn. That even your children, them, your children, them, you know, you might, you know, they might involve in the wrong things, badness, drugs, this, that, that, smoke weed, don't write them off. You see? Don't write them off. Because that's what we saw. You mean no business, win, lose, or draw. It was a good look today for somebody who, we can't say, that man there, convicted more than one time. You know, for illegal activities. And look at him. That's a story. That's a good story. And if him win, it's going to be a bigger story. So, so, so just, 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 I had to, I to, I to divert to that quickly. See him? Yeah. So, 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 so back to the reasoning. In most cases, this, the desire will be for a trial to continue. And judges are particularly reluctant to accede to applications to discharge a jury. So that happened with this case. The judge said, what well, I'm doing? No, see that case you're done. You want to do no see the argument done, make and closing argument and all of these things done already. No, 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 no application. I mean, I accept that way, blah, 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 blah. You see? However, you can't accept that as the defense. You see? You cannot accept it. But the judge have to try that. So the argument that people are having that corrupted system and the judge, you know, behave in a, you know, you know, um, inappropriate manner and he didn't follow the principles of the law and all of them things here. No, 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 no. Yeah. He had, he was within the confinement of the principle or the principles to continue the case. Meaning, say, he could make that decision. You understand? He was within the law. He never really I say, yo, he might do something corrupted to continue the case. So this corruption argument are fling about too much. There are other areas of the justice system that is corrupted. Like the man, they might use the phone, cartel phone and them something there at the station. Them think they're corruption. You understand what I say? But corruption comes from not just prosecution. Are the prosecution side corruption come from defense side in a, in in in, in, our, in, our, in our society too? Can members say you have criminals that try kill witness? That a corruption too, you know. We always point out just the corruption where come from the justice system. But remember, say we have a corruption where come from people where a commit crime. So it's basically corruption versus corruption is a chess game I play, you know. And who can come out on top of this chess game, you know? You understand? Can remember, say, we have criminals, we are dash with weakness. You see? Remember, say, we have police, we are work with criminals. I wonder if you get me. So let's not just point out one side of the corruption. Because we have people here who are murdering people, killing people, carrying out hits on people. And they know they can get away with it because all they have to do is find a, a witness and, and kill the witness and the witness protection program excuse me the witness protection program in Jamaica is horrible the witness protection program is 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 is, is, is the worst thing could have happened to the justice system and one lady who call me all the time they raped her daughter 
And she has been in the justice, she has been in the, excuse me, the protection program, the witness protection program, excuse me. Since her daughter was like 11, till her daughter turned big woman and leave her in the justice, in the, in the protection program. It's a horrible situation. So let's not pretend as if we only have one side of the kind corrupted. We have a corrupted society. Just know that. So don't come compile no finger, just pan, no judge, I just pan, no police, I just pan, every way, every corner of the society corrupted. You can't see a man commit a crime and say, we don't want that in a Jamaica. You're an infamer. Even the people them where you see on the internet a comment, a comment and all of them things there. They must say, you're an infamer, you're dead. They are part of the corruption too. You want to understand that? You would think say if a man talk when him see a man a, 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 a commit crime, we have destroyed your society or destroy the fabric of your society. You think if you would, if a man talk him for dead, you are part of the corruption too. You can't point no finger upon no judge, no police, no this, no that, no prosecutor. You are a part of the corruption. You see? So in this case, you may deem this to, deem this to be a corruptible. Um, offense, right? Or act. However, the judge was in the confinement of the principle. Our principles. Where he allowed the trial to continue. Knowing that if he had this... So when you see the, 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 um, the judges asking the prosecution today, right? Why didn't the, um, the, 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 the judge discharge the, 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 the compromise juror. The prosecution is between a rock and a hard place. Because if the prosecution said, well, if he had discharged them, there would have to be a mistrial. Now the, the judges them at the highest court are going to say, so why not a mistrial? Isn't that a part of the system for a person to get a fair trial? Hence a mistrial. So the mafia dodge bullet to the, hey, the prosecution today. The little old man, Missy Al man, one letter, Missy two strand here, drop out of the man, head, Missy Al, you also get baller. Missy over here, so get ball, me I say, Missy man, head tap a sweat. You see? Me I say, a dodge him a dodge bullet. One letter, me make a good argument and pile and Louis come like she catch a little forward and go so, bye, bye. You see, me I say, a lick two shot. And then he comes a boom and chop him back. Yeah, the man said, I'm not that big a bullet today. Because he cannot allow the judge them to make the argument or make him, he cannot make the argument that, yes, he should have discharged, discharged, excuse me, discharged the, um, the juror. Because he knew once he said that, the judge had just said, so was there a mistrial? Because that had the letter of the law. So the judge couldn't discharge him Without a mistrial. You see? So, I'm going to speak and get through the more, you see. Right? Because you know, so we love dealing with evidence and we love reason from a, a, a logical point, right? A point of view. See? You see, where the defense fails in having a juror discharged, listen this now, right? Where the defense fails in having a juror discharged and the conviction follows. One's mind will then focus on whether the refusal to discharge might make a good appeal point. Only you may just read a while ago. However, this has to be a failed attempt. The only argument that the one attorney we hear arguing this point you know is Issa Buchanan in the in the in the re, in the um, appeal in Jamaica and he took the argument to the Privy Council so they must say excuse me where the defense fails in having a jury discharge and a conviction follows one's mind will then focus on whether the refusal to discharge might make a good appeal point you see listen this now Regrettably, this point seldom meets with any success. The Court of Appeal 
takes the following approach. Listen, listen up. It is a matter for the discretion of the trial judge to determine whether to accede to an application to discharge a juror. If the trial judge declines to discharge the juror and continues with the trial, a person convicted may seek to argue that the conviction is unsafe because of the refusal to discharge a juror. The only basis upon which an appeal against a conviction can be allowed is if the conviction is unsafe. You see? See section 2 of the Criminal Appeal Act 1968. In general, it is likely to be very difficult to establish that the refusal to discharge a juror rendered a conviction unsafe. That is where we're at. You see? Are they so with it? That is where we're at. So what they're arguing at this point, if the conviction was unsafe, or is unsafe, that you will find out tomorrow. Or you can make your argument tomorrow based on when they present the other information. I'm going to read that again so you can get a better understanding. See? See? It is a matter of discretion for the trial judge to determine whether to accede to an application to discharge a juror. See? That means whether I'm going to agree to do it. See? Or whether I'm going to, you know, accept the argument. See? If the trial judge declines to discharge a juror, and continues with the trial, a person convicted may seek to argue that the conviction is unsafe. No other than them forgot to argue, people. But it is not unethical, illegal, unlawful, or any of the, 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 the narrative that people may be harboring that the judge did something out of the principles are against the principles. You see? The argument is is or was the conviction unsafe? You see? That are the, that are the argument. Yeah? That are the argument. So tomorrow now and hopefully I can't come go back a reason, but my brother, he must have and I try to find he must have, he must have, he must have, he must have, he must have. Yeah? If, if, if there's an error in my argument, I accept the, um, the correction, um, because that's what really have still. You see? He must have, the man. Yeah. You see? Emotep text, let me see here. Yeah? So that is where we're at. The, the judge acted with his best judgment um, of the other. Exactly. That, but that is opinionated though. That is just our opinion. <coughs> Lawrence Clark, Vegas, you stop the music. You hear me stop the music. Me not do music again. I want to be a liar. Yeah. Me, me make more money. Um, as I might thank the people, this is some rules and so something that go up. I may make more money here, so I talk to you people. Them than this is some rules and so something that go up there. Thanks, people. Thanks to this something that we see I go up on the screen. You see? We don't know how it is something there. They look like some rules and so sitting, 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 sitting. See? So me, it's a man and I buy all um, house and car and land and they sitting there. So when I want to do music, I go, go tour in a plane, I go drop, drop out the sky. I don't want to do no music. I want to talk when I feel for talk. You see? Yeah. There are people out there who appreciate the reasoning, appreciate the conversation. If you want to hear music, go listen to me while it's them. Go listen to the song then go a long time. I want to be a free human being. I don't want to be a slave to music. You understand me? I say? Yeah. I don't want to be that. You see? Yeah. I want to come on TikTok and get and get lion and tiger and bunny rabbit 
a a a pig and I can dopey all can sit me one again. Yeah, me no want to do no music. Yeah. Cause you, you, you come here with a reason for a, scholar, a scholarly type of reasoning that you have to about music. A time for everything and I sound, man. You see what I say? A time to laugh, a time to cry, a time to sing, a time to dance, a time to live, a time to die. Time for everything under the sun. You see? And you get your feelings of you have to about Gino no one back or something now. Through me, I correct you. Well, that's a reason for the case, man. Well, okay, a reason for the case. Better have me that take gun and go kill people and go shoot people. You know what you have to about free Vegas. Go in, man. Let me reason the people, man. I just talk where I talk and I, and, I, and I have a little reasoning, man, based on public knowledge, brethren. You see, and, and, and it is music. We're talking about an artist. You see, so it's music. We're talking about, a, 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 we're not talking about um, not anything outside of the, 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 um, the context of music. It's music still. I want to be brother in a prison. So it's music we're talking about. So I'm going to say we have to sing. We're not going to sing, brother. You see? We are talking about the case. So that is where we're at. You see? So I just, I just, I just reason why I reason about the case, man. Um, so, you know, take me to look for you and I can't find them. I don't know which pagan. You see? So, that is my two cents um, based on what transpired today. Hopefully, tomorrow we can come present a little argument again and go on another commentary on the day's proceedings. Big up on yourself, stay safe, bless up on yourself, saying, be good to people and make people be good to you. Love somebody and make somebody love you back. Saying, peace out. Boom.